Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to talk through how to rename your artwork and your games uh, to match your database uh, in a batch. And uh, let's get started. guys today we're going to uh, talk through fat match uh, this is going to allow you to rename your media uh, based on your game names and uh, yeah let's get started it's uh, pretty easy to do so go ahead and download the uh, fat match uh, xe file from the hyperspin uh, site uh, the url will be in the description below and what you're going to want to do is go to your utilities or tools folder drop those files in that uh, path. You're gonna find the XE, the history and the settings. Uh, so we're gonna open this up. There's a list missing image button. I don't use that, I use uh, Hypermint instead. It's much more robust. I'll do a video on that uh, later, uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is gonna be a start match wizard. And you can see it gives you a, a good description of what these paths mean, but uh, essentially, once you've set up paths and your confidence levels, you'll push start and it's going to uh, try to match things up. And uh, don't worry, it's not going to rename things uh, automatically for you yet. You've got to uh, actually make that happen. So uh, so what we're uh, needing to do here is find the path of your games. And this path is going to remain uh, uh, static here. So uh, this is sort of your, your foundation uh, and it, what it's going to use to try to rename your other media like your your wheel art or your video art or your themes. Uh, it, it's going to use the game names and uh, rename your media. So we're going to go ahead and do this and we're going to select uh, uh, let's say Atari 7800, and then we're going to find the media for 7800. So now I want to, let's say, rename the wheel art for Atari 7800. All right, so once you've done that, you can go to the options tab. This is going to allow you to uh, change the confidence. I think by default it has it at 65%. Uh, you can increase that if you want to uh, get better matches, but 65% allows you to really kind of uh, get a good balance of everything because uh, you know your your uh, your names for your wheels or your media in general might not be close enough for uh, the match to happen on your games. Um, so I'm going to hit the results tab here and when I'm ready, I'm going to hit start and this is going to allow me to see a quick search of everything that um, showed up. So you can see the game names are here and if I were to uh, say selecting options best matches, it's going to give you a rundown. So as you can see, um, you know, everything's 100%. It's got the confidence level and the, uh, the wheel art there. Um, so all of that is already matching. Um, and now this is a good example here. So I've got a game called Sentinel and I've got two wheel arts. One says Sentinel Europe and one says Sentinel USA Proto. So you can see there's 98% confidence and 100% confidence. Since I selected best match, it's going to go with this and it's going to rename the uh, wheel art um, to Sentinel Europe. Uh, so taken that. Um, so you you can see it's already matching 100% because I've already got this set up, but that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, you're essentially trying to get the wheel art that um, you, know, you have, and you're trying to match it up with your game art. So um, that's really all there is to it. You're just going to select uh, best matches uh, from here, and it's going to highlight everything for you. 
and uh, you'll push rename and it's going to automatically rename uh, things for you. Uh, the one thing that uh, you will have to do after you push rename, uh, you'll go to your media folder and you'll go to the system that you uh, updated. And when you do that, you're going to find that all your art uh, has been moved to another folder. And we're going to go images, we're going to go wheels. Uh, let's see if I've done that. Nope, haven't done that that one. Let's try a different one real quick. Otherwise, we'll uh, actually do the the full run through here. Um, all right, there you go. So you'll find FM underscore rename. So that's fat match underscore rename. When you push that rename files uh, button, all that um, media that you renamed will show up in here. And all you want to do is just copy everything out of this path and you'll drop it back into your wheel art uh, folder. So um, everything that does get renamed is going to go in that folder when you push rename files. The things that don't match, they are, they're just going to stay the same because fat match didn't do anything. Uh, please note that the uh, renamer does override the original file. So uh, it might be a good idea to back up your files, uh, if you will, <clears throat> but that is all there is to it. Um, you know, you, you can also uh, get creative here. Uh, you know, if you want, let's say, to rename your game, uh, games in general, uh, based on your wheel art instead, you could just flip flop these and put the wheel art here, and the, the ROMs, you think of that as like your base uh, naming convention that you want to use and then you could put in the game in this path uh, to get those games uh, renamed so this is pretty powerful uh, it really uh, spices things up to uh, make your system look awesome and I uh, hope this uh, video helped you uh, work through that um, all right guys uh, till next time bye